YouTube. So today was a very cold, rainy autumn day here in northern Colorado, and that's put me in a nostalgic mood with coming holidays. And when I get nostalgic, um, my mind always turns to my dear grandmother who passed away back in 1998, who uh, raised me from uh, when I was an infant, uh, and I lived with her all the way through college, uh, mainly because we didn't have any money, but that's another story altogether. And um, I, I, I always have very fond memories of her. She uh, was my, my parent, she was my guardian, my best friend, um, and, and many other things in between um, and throughout my life. And um, it's always interesting how my um, relationship with her evolved over the years. When I was a young child, she was very much uh, my parent. She made sure I cleaned my room, made sure I ate all my food on my plate. Uh, she was definitely part of the clean plate club, <laughs> but she was, you know, from the, the older generation, so that's not surprising. And she was also uh, very much a strict bedtime uh, adherent. I had an 8 p.m. bedtime until I was almost a teen. I think I was 12 or 13 before she finally relaxed that and um, finally let me pick my own bedtime and let me stay up later and everything, uh, with some rare exceptions. Uh, when I was little on Sunday nights, there was the Lawrence Welk Show, and I would watch that with her. And in fact, if I couldn't watch it with her, I had a screaming fit. <laughs> I was a bit of a spoiled child, I think, when I, was, when I was very young. And she kind of indulged that, and she would let me stay up, and I would watch it, and it was until uh, 9, it was at 9 p.m., so it was from 9 till 10, so it was the one night a week I actually got to stay up a little later. And um, as I got older, Doctor Who was another thing that was also on Sunday nights um, when I was a little older, and that started at 11 p.m., so I got to stay up till midnight once a week. Uh, and that was exciting, and I think it's one of the reasons I fell in love with Doctor Who, not just because I just love sci-fi in general, but I got to stay up late, so that was really cool. And I've actually recently started to blog about her life because I have always been very amazed and inspired by her life. She was not by any means a perfect person. She made many mistakes in her life. Um, many things that I know um, she told me later on that she regretted um, over the years, um, especially mistakes that she made with her children. But she grew up in Germany. She was born and raised there. Uh, she survived and lived through World War I uh, and World War II, and um, having to move around um, Europe um, for her husband uh, to find work, and eventually uh, emigrating um, to North America. They wanted to originally go to Canada, but Canada wouldn't take them because they were too old. They had a, a cutoff limit of like 35 or 40 at the time, and I think my grandfather was just about 40 as well, so they wouldn't take them, so they had to come to the United States. And they unfortunately did not find the American dream they were looking for, although I think um, I finally have started to achieve uh, some of the things that they unfortunately were unable to. Uh, a lot of these stories um, I am starting to blog about, and I will actually put a link uh, in the description for uh, the stories. I've always wanted to write a novel of her life, uh, just because I just thought think that all the adventures she had throughout her life have been pretty amazing, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And some of it, especially during World War II, is really ugly. And, and if you have uh, a weak stomach, don't read that part of the blog because uh, some, uh, my grandmother did share with me some rather graphic details of some of the things that she saw, um, especially in the camps. And um, it, it's, it really kind of um, makes me want to share her stories. Just want people to have a, a memory of my grandmother since, um, again, I, I mentioned this in my previous blog that I'm childhood by choice, so I'm not going to have children to pass this down to. I'm most connected to my grandmother's family. Um, she is my, my mother's mother. She's my maternal grandmother. And um, I actually still have relatives in Germany that I'm in touch with and I share Christmas packages with and everything. Um, and it keeps me feeling connected, despite the fact that I have very little family left in the U.S. Um, I only have my uncle, who is my, my mother's brother. But I mainly want to just, you know, share 
stories of my grandmother, and she was just a wonderful person in my life, um, even if she wasn't necessarily the best mother to her own children. Um, but I think she tried to overcompensate with me a little bit. Uh, she was a little overprotective, and that's part of her many imperfections. But I understand why she did what she did, and I understand uh, a lot of, of what happened to her um, throughout her life. She, she suffered uh, many um, setbacks. She had many things that she wanted to do with her life that she never got to do. And um, I've tried to change that a little bit. I've tried to live the life that she never had a chance to. Um, not just for her, for myself as well. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of things that she and I had in common in terms of ambitions and in terms of, of achievements we would like to see. And um, I want to, in a way, have my life be a celebration of hers, if that makes any sense. And as you can tell, she meant a really great deal to me. And so I would love it if folks would go and visit uh, my blog and and take a look and, and just read the stories. And if you feel they're worth sharing, please pass them on and share them. Um, and at the very least, um, I hope you get something out of it uh, historically, if nothing else. Um, I will put a disclaimer that um, I can't guarantee 100% of the facts that I'm writing down are true. Uh, a lot of the stories my grandmother told me are filtered through many decades of memories and perhaps revisions in her own mind. I do know that my grandmother was very good at spinning some tall tales at times, although I do believe that there is at least a grain of truth in every story that I am sharing about her. So take you know what you read perhaps with a little grain of salt um, and, and like I said it's, it's it's coming from her memories, it's coming from what she told me, and coming from my own filter, um, uh, if you will, as well. But um, I think that they're, they're meaningful stories, and I th in some cases, I think they're poignant stories. Um, and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, and until next time, thank you. Bye.